Hey, hey, it is your health and wellness coach, Marisha here, checking in. Thank you for tuning in if this is your first time checking out the channel. And thank you for returning if you have been here before and you've seen a couple of videos. Quick disclaimer, I am, I am on the East Coast, so um, it's kind of cold. And I know all the temperatures around the world is kind of wicky-wacky right now, but East Coast... Pre-war building, it's an old school building, so if you hear any of the uh, instruments in the background, that is the heater going off, all right? Just wanted to get that in there. I'll talk a little louder if I have to, but let's, let's hope these heaters do not play games right now. Um, so quick question for you. If I came out and said, guys, I'm in the 12th grade, and I'm damn near 40 years old. How would you feel? How would you react to that? You would probably laugh, right? You'd be like, get, get out of here. Like, what? Yeah, because it sounds ridiculous, right? Me being in that grade and being the age that I am, right? And that's not to say that's not talking about people who dropped out of school at that age and then at this age. That's two different things. So, again, if I said I was in the physical grade right now, like with other 12th graders, and I'm damn near 40, y'all would be like, what? Like, what's, what school's allowing you to do that, right? So, apply that to all the other dimensions. So you have been doing something for however many years, right? But you're still at this level that you should be far beyond. I'm basically talking about a comfort zone. So, and going back to the example, the 12th grade analogy is me being in, me being in the 12th grade is me staying in my comfort zone while I continue to grow, right? Um... There's really no growing going on, except physically, you know, you see me growing. Um, but there's no growing. I'm staying where I'm comfortable at. Meanwhile, after 12th grade, what happens? You continue to hopefully educate yourself, even if you don't go to college. You should still be expanding with research, reading, traveling. There should be some other type of thing that you are pouring into yourself so that you know, you could be more knowledgeable of what is happening around you. And, um, excuse me. Hmm. I want to know what type of ascension is happening with me yawning all the time. Let me get back on track. If you are that person who is whatever age and are in the space of a 12th grader mindset, are you comfortable with that? Is that okay? Do you think that's okay? Do you have children? Or do you have any young people in your family that you tell them, you know, keep going, keep striving, but you're not applying? Do you think that's cool? That's not cool at all. It is time. It is time, like right now. Another disclaimer, if I yawn, y'all, I'm not tired. Whew. Spiritually, that is a lot going on expanding happening right now um but yeah you should not be preaching to the youth to tell them to keep going come on you could do it you know go to college keep going here don't be no corner bum don't be uh you know what is the word i want to say a slacker we'll say that for now you know, push past your comfort zone. You can't tell nobody else that if you are not doing it. And this is why I'm always big on do as I do, not as I say. Because growing up, everybody's always telling me, and I don't know if you can relate to this, do as I say, not as I do. That is dumb, da dum dum dumb. Yeah, and I used to get in trouble for that a lot because I will always challenge an adult and do as they do. And call them out on it when I was younger. And as a teen, I still do it now. As a grown, grown, grown woman. Um, 
sometimes it's not so respectfully. But it's just a huge oxymoron to sit and say to somebody else or another youth or child for them to keep pushing towards their goals and you're not even doing it. You have to apply what you're, what you're preaching. Practice what you preach. Barry White, practice what you preach. Okay? So, even if you are on the right path, you could be like, oh, yeah, she ain't talking to me in this video. I'm going to pass this forward. No, I'm talking to you too because I'm talking to myself as well. If you were working out, if you are on top of your, your what you're eating, what you're consuming, um, what you're listening to, what you're saying, it's still room for growth. Every day is a new day. You could be twice, um, twice as, you could be double my age. You could be younger. You could be my age. But guess what? Right after this video and going into the new day, we are all new to the day. There is nothing no one has ahead of me going into this new day because we don't know anything about it. So there's always room for growth. So for me right now, because everything that I say, I actually practice. For me, it was pushing again past the comfort zone that I'm in on this level. Right, because a lot of people say, "Oh yeah, girl, you um, you're you're vegan. You don't got nothing to worry about. You eating healthy." And I'm like, first of all, I'm not vegan. I go by that name in the streets. You know, in the streets, you got the nickname. I've said this before. Um, but I really like to consume. I feel I feel whole when I'm eating wholesome. The vegetables the fruit so all the things that i could just pick up and say what it is without turning it around now quinoa wild rice of course that's packaged but i know what it is when i see it i don't have to be like oh what's in this looking at the front then i have to turn it around right so this year this gregorian year i said i was pushing myself and i felt i felt myself who sliding back a little bit now it may not have been noticeable to anybody but i'm definitely like nah i don't want it to be noticeable to anybody if i noticed it it's enough i mean spirit they noticed it it's enough it's not showing that i want to grow it's not showing that i'm ready for whatever i'm asking for so if i want to see things harvest that i've been planting i have to do the work you know we cannot pray for the garden to grow and not expect the rain, right? So just because you have a moment where things ain't going right does not mean, oh, I give up. We gonna stop. That's it. I'm just go back to my comfort zone because ain't shit working out. It actually is working out. Just gotta keep moving. You gotta keep on trucking, baby. Right? Um, another thing. So for me, again, all of my dimensions tie into each other. Once I am on top of one thing, everything else applies. So I love supporting people that look like me. I love supporting the alkaline community. Bars, not on purpose. Um, even just the restaurants that I know are trying to shift the atmosphere with what we are consuming. I love to put pour into people because guess what? They're pouring into me. They have great customer service. They have great attitudes when I come in their stores. Um, some places they know my name because I frequent so much. I do not mind pouring out. But what I have to do is budget just a little bit more. So I have to do a little less circulating to these places and circulate it circulate the monies that's what i'm talking about when i say circulate circulate the monies to where it needs to be so this is how i'm gonna get out my comfort zone and how i'm gonna stay out of it i'm going to continue to prep like i used to um and for the most part i fast 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> For the most part, I fast every day, like extended fast. Let me not, let me correct myself. I extend my fast every day, and um, I'll eat. If I eat twice, I'm eating fruit. I'm breaking fast with fruit. Then I'm having like liquids, whatever. And then this is when I'm on my on my shit. And I'm talking about when I'm in my feelings, eating my feelings like a chip or whatever. When I'm on my A game, I consume fruit. Talking about the chewing part, not the liquids. Have a little break and then I'll consume a meal. And I'm usually spending money getting this meal. Um, and for the most part, it's clean, but I could be cleaner. I even told one of the places, I was just like, yo, I'm taking a break. But they don't believe me because I'm, I always say that. And then I go back and support. Like, you know, every time I try to leave, something keeps holding me back, me back. But every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. What he said in that song? He did. He said that. Pull me back. Hold me back. Anyway, if you know the song that I'm referencing to, you get the message, right? Um, But I'm going to... These type of foods are rewarding. Eh, a little, mm, I don't know about all that. But anyway, in order for me to get that, in order for me to do that, I'm working out twice a day, three times out the week. And I have dance, I teach dance and take dance on Saturday. And I'm doing an active resting day. So the two days that I'm in between, I'm not moving, I'm not working out, but I'm on top of how I'm consuming foods. I am literally after this video going to finish prepping all my live foods. And as I explained in my space, that's another thing. It's going to be over for the 99 2000. But right now I'm going to work with it because I'm going to work in the space that I have. Because I don't want to, again, be in a comfort zone of making excuses and saying, oh, well, I don't have enough space for this so i can't do this right now no i'm gonna do what i can do and then that's gonna show the universe that i'm ready and it's gonna keep pushing me like the nile river in a direction that i need and want to go without any forcing or struggling because i do not struggle that is not who i am that's not what, what i claim okay um life gives me challenging experiences um and that's the word I choose. Challenging experiences that I have to go through. Some are more challenging than others. So that is how I'm getting through my comfort zone. Staying on point with not spending um, with a faster alkaline vegan food, but spending at the grocery store, coming home, prepping, staying on point, doing my workouts. I did two today. So I'm on point. I feel great too. If, I mean, I'm getting back to the, the double workouts. I want to get back to doing them five days a week. That's why I'm giving myself that break in between. Because when I do add those two days back, it's going to be two. So I'll be doubling up five days. But I'm going to take it easy. Um, me staying on top with the prepping of the food and the working out. Me being committed is me pushing myself out of my comfort zone because guess what? I have to show up every day and do it. Every day. You got to show up every day and do whatever it is that you you um, you um need to do to push yourself out your comfort zone. Don't do it for five days and then get tight because you don't see nothing. Again, stay on your A-game. I'm also, you know, talking to those who are trying to heal an ailment. You cannot do something for 30 days, 60 days, even 90 days, and then get tight a few months after and say, oh, well, it came back. You stop You stop whatever regimen you was doing. You put yourself back in your comfort zone. You have to show up every freaking day for yourself. No. Um, spiritually. Mentally, physically, whatever dimension you want to work on, emotion, finance. If you are looking to harvest in any of these dimensions, you have to sow the seed. I can't recall what this man said 
um, Lloyd Strayhorn. I feel like I'm saying his name correct. Um, I remember one time he said something on one of his videos. He was just like, you can't expect a ship to come back with stuff if you did not send the ship out. And of course I heard it. I've heard that before. But it just clicked to me when I heard it said that way. And that was a few years ago. And I'll keep playing that in my head every time I slack. You know, um, I'm just, I'm not, there's no there's no way that I could be upset because I didn't put in the work. If you didn't put in the work and you're still at your comfort zone, of course you're not going to have anything work for you the way you think it should because you have to work. You have to do the work. You have to show up and do the work. It's really, it could all be so simple. I'm always making song references. That's the type of person and friend and that I am. Um, huh, I just hope that this resonates with somebody because, I mean, it was fuming in me. I wanted to talk about something else, but this was the message that I needed to get out today, right now. Get your together. Even if you catch yourself slacking in the moment, you do not have to wait till, oh, because it's Tuesday and you fucked up. You don't have to wait till Sunday to start over. Start over the next minute, the next second. Let me tell you, my attitude can go from 10 to 100 really quick. I already know that deals with the environment that I'm in, the people I'm around, you know, the energy that I hoard from being around these people. Also, my personal stuff, too, that I'm unlearning and releasing. Um, but... If I have a moment where I spaz out, and I just did this, uh, I catch myself, somebody call me out on it, boom, I'm going to take that good old L because guess what? You cannot be wrong and strong. No. Um, fuck yeah. And um, whoever's around me, I'm going to also call out myself and say, you know what? I was wrong. And this was not worth it. It was not worth it. But I'm just saying that to say, I'm not going to wait until Sunday to start over. And be like, oh, well, today's Wednesday. Oh, today's Thursday. So I'm going to just still be a butthole to everybody else that I come in you know, contact with who, who pisses me off and cuss them out because I want to start over next, the next, the start of the new week. Nope. Getting out of your comfort zone is you starting immediately right where you are. Right there. Catch yourself. Move on. Whoever judging you, tell them judge your mama. You ain't got to say nothing. And I honestly think that every time, not think, I, I could confirm with experience from me. I'll do that. When you pray for something, it is not going to come the way you want. The universe will give you an experience. Like you're walking through the safari, right? You ask for certain things. The universe is going to give you an experience of to see how you work with these things. It's not like a setup and the universe is coming for you. It's just like going to school. You have to get not the thing. Miss Valerie Love um, mentioned this in one of her mantras. But you have to, she said it funny, but you you cannot get it without doing the work. So you have to, just like we go to school, to get a degree, a diploma, whatever. It's the same thing with life. You can't just be like, oh, God, thank you. Please bless me for this job. You know, you want to talk to your sky God, whatever, however you pray. You cannot just say, oh, yes, I look forward to receiving this. And then you look around, you like... Well, damn, I asked for it. Why didn't it show up? Because you didn't show the you didn't show that you wanted it with the work that you did. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. Um for me, 
Um, I feel like me saving, me spending more time with myself in the kitchen, again, even more time doing these things is showing the universe that I'm ready, ready financially to grow, spiritually, mentally, physically. I'm putting in the work. It's going to show for sure. I done been down a similar road and I know it's going to come. So I'm going to wrap it up because, yeah, time is flying. Please get out of your comfort zone. This message is for you. That's it. Okay. Until next time. And I'm out of my comfort zone right now because sure you don't win on um, strapless. But I'm home and I just finished my workout a little while ago. But get out your comfort zone and I'll talk to you soon, all right? Peace.